So what is the United Nations is? Uh, what does the United Nations mean is it's uh, the intergovernmental or organization that aims uh, to maintain international peace and security, to develop friendly relations among nations or to achieve international cooperation. And it's a center of harmonizing the actions of nations because it's a, it's it's intergovernmental organization. Intergovernmental organization means the participation of different countries together. So they participate together to uh, promote or uh, to uh, flourish development, peace and stability and many more things under uh, the United Nations. So uh, we have original members in uh, the United Nations. The original members of the United Nations are like China, France, the Soviet Union, United Kingdom, uh, the United States. These are uh, the first five forming Security Council. Uh, and we can mention also uh, other members in uh, the United Nations, like Argentina, Australia, Belgium, uh, Brazil, Canada. You can mention more countries in uh, the United Nations. So uh, the United Nations is um, an international organization founded in 1945 after the Second World War. That means because uh, 51 countries committed to maintain the international peace and security because they don't want to happen again war. So they create this United Nations to help them to uh, stop such kind of instability among each other. Uh, so uh, this uh, it was uh, created uh, in uh, founded or established in 1945. So what are the main? Uh, we have main, main bodies in the United Nations. Uh, the main we have five main bodies in the United Nations. So the main organs of the United uh, the United Nations are the General Assembly, the Security Council the Economic and Social Council, the Trusteeship Council, and the International Court of Justice. So, uh, and the United Nations Secretariat. They are all established in the 1945 when the United Nations was founded. So here, uh, United Nations, who? Who is running United Nations? All countries are running United Nations. All countries are owning United Nations. The members of the United Nations are the owners of the United Nations because it's an intergovernmental. It's not controlled by a single country, but rather uh, by all countries under the control of the chief of the Secretary General of the United Nations. Uh, so uh, the most powerful uh, organization or the most po powerful in the United Nations, the most powerful party is the Security Council. So in addition to the United Nations, we have other examples of intergovernmental organizations and it includes the International Atomic Energy, the International Monetary Fund, the International Criminal Organization and the World Trade Organization. So these are another examples in uh, the intergovernmental organizations. So what are uh, what what does uh, the International Monetary Fund we will uh, provide another video for the International Atomic Agency and for the International Criminal Police Organization. Now let's look in detail about the International Monetary Fund and uh, the World Bank. So what is uh, the International Monetary Fund? What does it mean? The International Monetary Fund or the IMF is an organization of 189 countries. So working foster global monetary cooperation. Uh, they are working, the International Monetary Fund work, is working uh, to foster not only the global monetary cooperation, but also to secure the financial stability, to facilitate the international trade, uh, to support the international world literate organization and to promote high implement and sustainable economic growth. So uh, the point of this IMF is reducing poverty around the world, especially if there are countries facing shortage of foreign currency or uh, shortage or facing in poverty or uh, in different uh, if they are facing different problems then the IMF will give uh, will will give financial support or technical support or uh, different types of supporters so who is uh, who is owning the International Monetary Fund is uh, the United Nations of course the International Monetary Fund or uh, it's under under the United Nations the this is one part of the United Nations the International Monetary Fund What's the role of the IMF? The IMF, the fundamental mission is to help or ensure stability in the international system. 
ensuring financial system is the main point of the IMF, ensuring the stability of the international system, financial system. Um, that's the major, the major function of the uh, international monetary fund. So IMF provides financial support. That means in order to keep the balance of the international system, the finance of the international system, it provides financial support for uh, countries in need, because um, balancing or reducing poverty is one role of the international monetary fund. So uh, unlike, unlike development banks, it's not for profit. Uh, IMF is not for profit. It doesn't lend for specific projects, but typically uh, countries, government uh, and the IMF must agree on a program of economic policies before IMF provides lending uh, to the country. The, so the IMF lends some money based on some agreements. They will uh, make an agreement with countries. So based on the policies, that created by the international the IMF or, or the International Monetary Fund, then money will um, some sort of money will be prepared. Uh, so IMF is very important financial support. The World Bank is the other point in uh, another example that we can mention in the intergovernmental organizations. So uh, World Bank is uh, an international financial institution that provides loans and grants to the governments of poorer countries uh, for different purposes. It can be pursuing capital uh, projects. So um, the World Bank is also another important. So the headquarter of the World Bank, the main, the headquarter currently, the headquarter of the World Bank is uh, Washington DC in the United States. That means uh, and the president of the uh, World Bank currently is David Malpass. So the purpose of the United, I mean, the, the World Bank is for the sake of economic development, economic development, supporting for the economic development of uh, the countries in the world to bring economic development, to bring economic cooperation among, among, uh, among countries in all over the world. So uh, what is the point in addition to uh, the economic development, what is the point of the World Bank is uh, it promotes long-term economic development and poverty reduction. Uh, po poverty reduction, it provides technical and financial support to help countries if they want to reform certain uh, sectors like to implement specific projects or like building school, maybe health center, like hospitals, clinics. So providing water, electricity, fighting disease and protecting the environment so the World Bank provides a financial support for poor countries, for countries who need to get financial support or support is in, uh, to, uh, to grow or to strengthen or to collaborate uh, or to develop their infrastructure like electricity, uh, water supply, maybe hospitals, schools. Uh, so these are supported by uh, the uh, World Bank. And the world bank this this is all for this video i hope you got it helpful and thanks for watching see you in the next video